preventative maintenance day, I guess. It's one of those uh, late night laying in bed purchases while my tranny was in the shop getting fixed. Um, Durali, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Use a lot of their products for a lot of years. Always pretty good stuff. So uh, this tranny pan, um, I really wanted to just up the capacity from the uh, one that I have, which is just one of these, it's probably China, who knows, eBay specials. Good aluminum pan, didn't leak, you know, did its purpose, served its purpose. Got my temp sender in there. But I got room for a bigger one and I want more fluid capacity. And so this thing's pretty cool. It's got like cooling fins in it. So it's gonna hold way more oil. Probably probably another gallon if I had to guess. Four cool quarts. Pretty cool heat exchangers. That's gonna help us out quite a bit. Um, we got a trans cooler on this thing too. It's not giant, but I think it's fine for the area that we run in and the terrain and stuff. So, so far it's been good. I've never seen trans temps over, uh, over 200. <clears throat> so anyway, let's, uh, get after it, get this baby installed. Already got the oil drained. So we're, uh, trying out something new. We're running this uh, John Deere Low Viscosity High Guard. A lot of guys like the High Guard, but it's a little thick. So the guys that run it, like at the snow race and stuff, had troubles with their pumps kind of whining and stuff when it's really cold. So I'm getting the, I got the Low Viscosity. It's, it's way closer to like a five weight, which is like an ATF viscosity. So, but it holds up to heat way better than just Dextron. Um, I know a lot of guys that use it in the racing community and they like it and it's cheap So I think a five gallon is hundred and forty bucks I don't know what ATF is, but I know it's at least double that so Anyway, let's get this pan jerked off here and see what we find Okay, now the music's off. Let's try this again um yeah, temp sensor used to be over here. I don't really like this. We are kind of running out of wire here. It's kind of tight. So next time we have the paneling off, we're gonna have to fix that. Um, way deeper. Skid plates are barely gonna fit. It'll probably plug up full of mud and shit, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, fitment's good, all the bolt holes lined up. The one weird thing was they give you a longer tube for the uh, filter, drop the filter down. But the Turbo 400s have a bolt that kind of holds it in place loosely. And they don't give you any kind of spacer or longer bolt for that. So I had to source my own and I had to machine a spacer down on the old LeBlonde over there. So that's kind of dumb. I don't know what a what a regular guy would do in the home shop if he ran into that issue. I guess he'd have to go to the hardware store and try to buy something or I don't know, stack a bunch of washers and really get ghetto. But uh, anyway, it's on there. Go ahead and get her filled up and check for leaks. And then while we're under here too, we're gonna, we're gonna do some type of sight glass deal for the uh, crawl box here. We're gonna make it like a loop with a clear piece of hose and tee that breather line in so that we can easily check the fluid level of the Northwest Fab 205 Titan HD crawl box planetary reduction mother effer. So let's keep rolling. Alrighty, all topped off, full of fluid. Looks to be nice and dry. Um, 
Yeah. We got our little uh, sight tube for our crawl box now. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of vulnerable, but I guess everything's protected pretty good with all the skid plates and stuff. And I've got it secured, and these are nice stainless. Oh, Jesus. That's fun. Lovely. Anyway, that should work. A lot of creaking going on. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's a good looking pan. Fit good. It's not leaking. Weird little thing about the filter spacer, but hey, that's, uh, that's what happens when it's it's all custom shit, right? But you'd think they'd have it figured out too, so I don't know. Customer support was closed, it's Sunday, so just uh, went ahead and took it upon myself to overcome that. So, so anyway, I get the skid plates back on this baby. And we are ready to go break it again. Thanks for watching.